Hey folks, a really quick and informal video for you today. AWS just announced that their on-demand pricing model for DynamoDB is going to receive a 50% cost reduction, which is a massive decrease for anyone that has used DynamoDB before, especially at high throughput scale and has ever looked at their AWS bill. So just as a really quick reminder, there are two different models when it comes to DynamoDB capacity. There is, let's start with actually the provision model since it's the most uh, straightforward. So there's provisioned. And the way provision works is that if you take like this chart, for example, and imagine that you have some capacity that, or some usage for your table, whether it be read or write, and maybe it looks like a little something like this um, with some spikes inside, um, you can set up provision capacity on this table and you can set this to whatever number you want. So you can set like a very high number like this. You can set a very low number like this. And if you see here, there's a little bit of intersection here. This kind of shaded area uh, corresponds to areas where you may receive throttling on your table. AWS also released this concept of auto scaling on provision tables. So it'll kind of scale this thing up and down depending on its usage. Um, the one thing that kind of sucks with this auto scaling algorithm is that if you have a pattern that's maybe something a little bit like this where it's kind of no traffic and then super high traffic and it goes drop down and it drops down again uh, then auto scaling will take some time to react and it may not necessarily scale up until a little bit later and then it may not necessarily scale down until a little bit later uh, in which point like this period here is where you may receive the dreaded throttling errors if you've ever gotten them from DynamoDB which is very very annoying to deal with uh, and the on-demand pricing, which is what we're talking about uh, in terms of the price reductions here, it kind of gets rid of this problem. So you can still have your normal usage uh, like you typically would, except that DynamoDB doesn't really care. But what you have provisioned, it's going to do this automatically for you. So behind the scenes, there's like some algorithm that's running that's basically doing the same thing. Now, on-demand is great if you've ever used it before, but one caveat with it, which is that if you have kind of a pattern like we were looking at up here um, where you scale up rapidly uh, very very quickly with lots of throughput you can still get throttling so it's not impossible to get throttling with on demand uh, so if you don't use it already today it's a great thing to consider and now AWS is also offering that 50% cost reduction for your RCUs and your WCUs for on demand which is a really great thing to see now they've also introduced this secondary change to the way global tables work uh, global tables and let me just give you again a brief little recap here in terms of how global tables work i'll make some more room for you here as well okay with global tables how these work is that you can set up a table in one region so say for example this is us east one and then you can have a secondary region where the this data from your original table in kind of the home base which is us east one let's put a little star beside that um, it'll replicate the data into the table for the second region. So you'd have a table over here. Maybe this is EU West one. You can also have like multiple regions if you want here for global replication. And so essentially when you uh, write into your table, uh, or someone writes into your table, AWS will automatically replicate that data into your secondary table. So how you're charged for this is that on the initial write, which is kind of this path here, you have to pay for that obviously, but previously you had to pay for this path as well, the second path to replicate into the secondary region. So AWS is removing the cost for the secondary write here. Now you just pay for the initial write. So what this translates to you, if you are using the provisioned model, let me just write this out again just to make sure um, it's clear here because it is kind of confusing if you're using provision with global tables then you'll see about a 37 percent reduction in your bill if you're using on demand with global tables in combination with what we saw demand uh, in combination with what we saw up here you're going to see a whopping 67 percent decrease in your costs uh, for write path. So not read in this case, just writes. Uh, so not really a clear reason why AWS is reducing the cost for kind of one of their biggest services. Perhaps it's a way to be a little bit more competitive, especially as new competitors are propping up. Uh, but let me know what you think. You think it's for kind of a competition reason or do they have an alternative agenda or is it just for the lead up to reinvent to have something to talk about? Let me know down in the comment section what you think. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.